Hey everybody, what is going on? It's me, Captain Fresh here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install the Pixelmon mod. So since the release of Pokemon Go, there's been a high demand on people wanting to know how to install the Pixelmon mod, just because all Minecraft YouTubers are getting on and doing Minecraft playthroughs. So I've decided to show all you people that want to get Pokemon into your Minecraft how to actually do that. The first thing you're going to want to do is download the actual mod itself. So, you just come on to the Pixelmon mod website and i will leave a link in the description for this website and if this link does not work you can just do something as simple as typing in pixelmon into google and then you'll find something like this pixelmon download so what you guys want to do when you've opened up this web page is come to the top and then click on the 1.8.9 beta the reason i'm using 1.8.9 is because this is the version of forge i'm using so you just want to come to the second link and then click on download this new player page will pop up and then you click on download Pixelmon 4.3 right here and then it will start installing here. So take note of what version this is for. As you can see it's 1.8.9 and this is the version of Forge we're going to be downloading. Alright then, so now that you've started downloading your Pixelmon mod, you want to download Minecraft Forge. So just click on this link I will leave in the description or type in Minecraft Forge into Google and you want to be getting the same version that you have. As you can see this is 1.8.9, you want to just click on 1.8.9 right here, 1.8 and then go here. And then you want to click on download the latest right here. And then you want to wait five seconds. I've got adblock on so I don't see any of these annoying ads that keep popping up. And then you just want to click skip. Just don't click on any ads if they're in here, just click on the skip. So you can just keep this, it says they might be harmful, but trust me they're not. So what you can do now is actually take both of these and put them onto your desktop. I just like to put them there because it's easier to see. So now you've got your forge and your pixelmon right here. So now what you want to do is run your Minecraft. So when this is loaded up, you want to click Edit Profile. Now, keep note of what version of Forge and the mod you just installed. As you can see, it's 1.8.9. You want to click on Edit Profile, Use Versions, and then click on the Release 1.8.9. So let's say you downloaded 1.10, you want to click on Release 1.10. But as I did 1.9, 1.8.9, I'm going to be using 1.8.9. And after that, you just click Save Profile, hit Play. And what this will do is load up the version that will run with the version of the mod that you just installed. So now as you can see we have Minecraft 1.8.9 loaded up. After you've installed that you can move Minecraft aside and now you want to be installing Forge. So your Forge might come as a WinRAR file like this and if you double click on it you might get this message. So what you want to do is open it with Java. You don't want to open it in WinRAR. So I'll show you a method of opening it if it, this does pop up in WinRAR. So if it does pop up in here and as you open it, it opens in WinRAR, what you can do is simply right click on it, open with Java. And if Java's not there, choose another app and then find Java. If this Java does not pop up, you possibly might not have Java, so you can just simply install that from Google. So when this is popped up, you want to make sure it's the installed client version. This will be at your .minecraft folder, which is, should be where it is. And then you just want to hit OK. And now that it's done, it should say successfully installed client, you hit OK. And now what you want to do is run your Minecraft one more time. Now instead of going on your profile that you have right here, you want to click on this profile and now there should be a new one that says Forge. Make sure you click this one on and then you can click play. So now that you can see that you have installed Forge onto your Minecraft, you should see down here three mods loaded and three mods active. This basically is just Forge itself, it's not actually installed any mods onto your Minecraft yet. And now after this is done you can click X. Next step is to find your Minecraft files. So you just want to click your start button. You can do this on Windows 7 and Windows 10 and just type in percent app data percent and then click here. On Windows 7 this should say roaming. You just want to whack that and then this will pop up here. And now you want to go into this dot Minecraft and after you install the forge you'll see this mods folder. If you do not see this mods folder, then you have not installed Forge correctly and you want to redo those steps. And make sure that you have run your Minecraft with the Forge on before you attempt to put to find this mods folder. So you want to just gra simply grab the mod, open your mods folder and just drag the whole WinRAR file in there. May seem a bit simple, but that's literally what you do. Now you can simply exit off your .minecraft, run your Minecraft once again. And it's crucial you make sure your profile is on Forge still because that is where the mod is held. Hit play and then wait for it to install once again. 
Alright then guys, so when that has loaded up, you have successfully installed the Pixelmon mod right here. So I guess I'll just go into a single player world and show you guys that actually does work. But if this did help you, then please feel free to leave a like down below. And if you have any problems, leave a comment or wait until the last part of the video. Because I will be doing a quick helping guide at the end for anyone that has failed. So as you can see, it tells you and then you can pick your starter Pokemon of all the generations of Pokemon. And that's all I'm going to be showing you guys. If this didn't work for you, then wait until the next part of the video. If not, I hope you enjoyed watching and I'll see you guys later. So, peace out. Alright then, so this part of the video is for all you people that have failed to install the mod and you have some issues. So, I've got a couple different methods for you to use to try and actually fix your Pokemon. So, the first one being to make sure, to not make sure, to try and a different version of the Forge. I installed the recommended, but sometimes this doesn't work for people, I've known that. So, you can try the latest. So, this is the latest, and I've been reading through the forums and things like that, and apparently this one works with quite a few of the versions of the mod and this one sometimes doesn't so that is one of the ways you can do it another way is to go to your minecraft folder your dot minecraft and simply make a backup or delete it so what you want to do is drag this to your desktop so now it is not there anymore rerun your minecraft it'll ask you for your username and password again so you just want to type that in and then log in now you want to just click edit profile and I'll probably use the version that you used before if you're trying to still get the mod save profile click play so what this will do is make a fresh start minecraft and it will make sure that all your mods and things your old mods are cleared out it'll make sure that any mod that isn't compatible with this mod is no longer there and it should work after this so as you can see there's a new dot minecraft if you want to get back your old saves or things like that you can go into here and then go into your saves and move these across into your new saves dot minecraft as so new world and I just drag that straight in there and then close close and then redo the whole method with this new dot minecraft if all of these didn't work I will leave a link to a help page in the description but hopefully you did get it working in the end, and I hope you guys will enjoy your Pokemon gaming on Minecraft. Anyway, that's all from me, so I'll see you guys later, stay fresh, and peace out.